What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Starting this video with the physique update of the giant killer Sean Calorio as we are 19 weeks out of the Olympia. But this was taken a week back and released today so that makes it 20 weeks out. So what can I say? Pound for pound Sean is the most densely muscled bodybuilder in the 212 class and in the overall bodybuilding for that matter. With his height being only 5'2", it's kinda unbelievable what he has achieved during his career. Two Mr. Olympia titles under his belt and going for his third. Interestingly, what Sean weighed at the Arnold Classic this past year, that was the heaviest stage weight of his career and that was only 181 pounds. That means he is still more than 30 pounds shy of his weight cap, which is just crazy. So. I don't think anyone will be surprised if Sean comes in a little lighter for the Olympia compared to what we saw at the Arnold because the extra hardness and the conditioning that he brings to the stage that is what makes him so dominating and on top of that he doesn't need that size that he needed in the open class and other than his width he doesn't seem to have any weaknesses so is Sean winning his third Mr. Olympia title or are we gonna see an upset? We know Hunter Labrada and Blessing Avudibu are already doing Tampa Pro and that is two Olympians and now another one has been added and that is Joe Thomas. So based on what we have seen so far, this is gonna be Hunter's show no doubt. He is way too complete for the competition. Plus, he is looking at his best this year. So Joel does have some body parts that make him stand out. But he needs bigger legs overall front to back. So Joel did not place at the Olympia last year. I think he looked better at Toronto Pro where he was able to beat Quinton and got his Olympia qualification. I think his conditioning at that show was much better than the Olympia. But he is an Olympian so you have got to give him the respect. Him hitting that most muscular shot in the gym during one of the contest prep about two years back. That is one of the freakiest things you guys will see. So no announcement regarding Horse MD aka Marcelo's men's open pro debut but I'm gonna say Milos' plan is working and Marcelo is not only looking bigger but leaner as well. So he's gonna test the waters this year on where he stands amongst the pro ranks in the men's open bodybuilding. And winning a pro show, that too on his first try, that is gonna be one hell of a difficult job and if he's able to do that then one hell of achievement. And the reason I'm saying that is his back. Although we have seen some improvements over this season, but open bodybuilding is on a whole different level. You need conditioning for sure, but you need a lot of mass as well. The classic physique fans will always wonder how would Horse MD would have done in a smaller class if somehow he would have been able to make weight. So hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.